Hey guys, um, welcome to another video. On today's video, I thought we'd be we'd um, take a look at seaplanes because now I've done you know a bunch of normal flights and you know I, I, this is I just saw it in um, FSX and thought it looked like fun. Plus, I was trying to look for the through um, I was looking through the Havon planes. And I just found this one that was already pre-installed that comes with FSX. So I just thought, you know, why, why not have a go at it? So yeah, now, um, I managed to land this in a 36 knot crosswind, but it is FSX new edition, so we, we all know what really happened there. But, like, so I'm going to go ahead and take off. Um, if you're interested where we are, I think we're in the River Mersey. Or the River D, I'm not sure. If you hadn't told from my own channel, I'm basically not Swiss series or English series or so yeah. Let's see. I'm going to just took off. That's easy. Out of the Mersey. Now, if I just slew myself up a bit, and so you can get a better view onto the um, ground. That's a long river, isn't it? Now, I want to get into landing with them in crosswind, crosswinds in a bit, because it's actually really interesting and quite fun. And if you're looking for a challenge, it's an amazing challenge. Oh no, I came over here. You know, something like, gosh, we're getting really slow for our altitude. If we turn around here and then we can get ourselves... And I know I could be using stuff like free my checks and all this stuff. Well, and I'm not sure if my computer could run it, which it probably can, but I mean, even still, you know, we're running FSX. Uh, I don't know, my computer's not having a good day today anyway. slow descent. So what you want to do is you want to do this. It's a nose dive as if you're a fighter jet in the middle of formation. Yeah, the spiral out control, that's fun. Oh no, we just stalled out, we just stalled out. No, come on, come on. Um, there we go. Right. Looks like we're back on track now. Oh, and if you're wondering why I haven't, um, done any voice in any of the videos or use the microphones because my microphone is a USB microphone for some reason my brother won't give me my headset back which means because one of my USB ports is semi dead it, it, you have to get stuff in at the right angle otherwise it doesn't work anyway I managed to get the microphone in at the, just the right angle um, so I can use it now so yeah um, if you're sick of my voice comment down below and I'm not saying I'm not going to do anything about it. Um, but yeah, now it's gone. Let's butter the bread. Ooh, that wasn't very buttery. See, you want to put your flaps out because when it comes to stuff like winds, flaps are the only thing, unless you get tied up to a dock, which you probably will do. Um, because obviously, I don't know, I just. Okay, this is the closest body of water to the airport. I'm not even. To, it's the airport I was at originally because I was at Manchester testing 30 knot crosswinds in a Cessna so yeah you got that then yeah that's obviously how it turned out but you know never mind um my gosh I'm turning such a specific one and sell not sell up but basically copy I'm even um what's that there I don't know what I've just done, but I didn't think it was good. Anyway, now let's go ahead and add some um, wind into this, maybe. Just add a 16 knot cross. Yeah, I mean, I don't actually know what 
direction it's come from. I know last time I did this, I had a headwind. It was awful. See, see that thing? Well, I haven't actually to told this because um, the video I was originally going to make about it never happened. But basically, I have this problem where some of my airplanes are, in are incomplete when it comes to their things. And I actually think the MD-80, let me know in the comments, but does FSX actually give the option to fly it? Because when it comes to me, I just I can't fly it. It doesn't give me the option to. Although I get AIs with it. That was a little bit bad one. It's coming for landing now. Oh, it's slow. It doesn't matter. That was another f funny thing. Why would anyone want to be landing in the River Mersey? Like, come on. I also saw a bridge down there, which is funny because I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I thought it was literally just the Mersey Tunnel. Well, you said, I, I actually don't know where we are, but I'm pretty sure we're on the River Mersey. Because it's John Lennon Airport somewhere around here. And then Manchester, EGCC is all, behind, all the way behind us. Yes, I know where UK Airport's very well. And then to the direct left, left was pretty much, well, yeah. So, what way are we facing now? I don't, as you can see, we touch down very easily. Now you want to put the flaps in and maybe a little bit of thrust if you're facing into the wind to stop you from being blown around by it. Now obviously I have to do this otherwise I'm going to tip over. Yeah. And that's the only thing that's stopping you as well, it doesn't have any reverse thrust. All that you have to stop you is just the flaps. And those flaps come down pretty hard as if they're pretty much just spoilers. I remember I had um, the Cessna with its parking, but I was holding down the brakes on the Cessna, facing directly into a 30 knot crosswind, 36 knot crosswind. And when I held the brakes in, I could literally, uh, that, that's my brake button as well, the um, button on the back of my joystick, I could literally rock the plane back and forth because there was that much air going forwards pushing over the wings that my wings were generating not enough lift to actually lift me off the ground but they were getting some lift anyway that was that was that landing was too easy but then again fsx winds are always a bit easy so we'll go for something like here now, i want to know do um because it happens in gta obviously gta is gta and it's not a flight simulator um, I'm not even sure if I'm using the right flaps, I don't know, I, I just wanted to do this. Looks right to me anyway. Um, do like these seaplanes, because I saw a video of a seaplane actually on a, um, not, what's the word? Um, on like the back of, on like a trailer that was on the back of the truck. Um, and basically what happened was it, um, it, it, it was there and the truck started moving forward and the um, pilot inside of the um, thing, inside of the seaplane, advanced the thrust leaps forwards and then, um, yeah, that it took off with all the air it got from the, um, no, I don't know, I, I like physics, okay. Um, I'm not going to go into the specifics of how wings work and how all that goes because to be honest with you I don't think anybody cares well, then, although to be honest I don't think anybody cares about watching what almost three hours of footage of me flying a Ryanair plane from Dublin to New York I don't even know why I said that because I'm basically just bullying myself now I also got a comment saying from someone, can we be friends? Um, I'm not sure about that to be honest. I mean, it's a bit weird asking some random person, a YouTuber, don't even know if it could be a person, um, some random, I'm not even a YouTuber, some random aviation YouTube channel if they want to be friends. And I felt that was a little bit weird. I mean, it was funny, but it was weird. Anyway, let's put this flap in. Um, as you can see, it's, it's it's very hard to land. We're not touching. We're getting too much lift on the wings, aren't we? 
mean, they're actually wood stall though, they do. Now as you can see, there's we have no authority over where the place of action is because I don't have separate route controls. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing, that. Well, I'm just trying to get a thumbnail here. There we go. Your altimeter is set incorrectly. It's oppressed. See? Oops. What? I want to see this now. Oh my gosh, man. And up into the sky. Um, I think physics have just left the chat. And we are now flying. What? It's like what happens when you get an engine failure just after V1. You can't fly, you just end up sinking to the ground. But like in this really weird, almost as if you're literally out of control of the aircraft. Like it's weird, okay? Trust me, you got to get up to like 200 knots before you, before you have a bird strike in this. Otherwise, you are dead. You can pretty much maintain and increase speed a little bit, but you can't do much. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, well, I think um, that's enough of my Swiss surgery for one impression. Hello, everybody, Swiss surgery for one here today. And we are in. FSX multiplayer. No, I'm, I'm not good at that. I'm just doing a Swedish accent. Or whatever. No, it's not, it's not even Swedish, is it? It's Swiss. Like Swiss. I know it's Switzerland, isn't it? That's not Sweden. Hmm. Oops. I didn't say watch this video. been too long um, but yeah I just thought I'd show you me checking out these even in really hard crosswinds to land and that ridiculous physics and but yeah all right see you all next time bye